your boy B Smooth. We're back at it again. Coming at you with another product review. This product here. Um, something that I have not ever really had. But it'll come in handy for a lot of people who want a little base and don't want to spend a whole lot of money and don't even want to get a box or nothing. Everything already comes as one. Works good for certain cars and trucks man especially in the truck application so hey let's get into the review all right guys we have another product from hayaka once again man this right here is a new hayaka product it's a sdm08 well smd-08 mini slim under seat box with built-in sword woofle i mean and it has built in amp, everything built in. So the only thing you'll need is your wiring ran and you run right through it. Let's open this thing and see what it look like. Let's All get. right, we have this open now, 400 watt max power. Let's see what this thing look like, man. All right, packaging nice. We have mount brackets. All right, that's a high level there. I need to clean my little workstation, man. Uh, I haven't had time. All right, one second. Let me put this camera down. I gotta get this thing out of here. Okay. Oh, may not, may not have to put the camera down. Oh man, look at that. This thing is slim, bro. Like this thing is really slim. Now this is nice. This is nice. We have a base knob that comes with it right here. Base knob, base knob wiring. We have a manual. Let's get into this manual and actually look at it, man. All right, this manual here telling us everything about this product right here, man. One point, well, section 1.1. Protect your ears. Do you really think this thing will be that loud? We're going to find out. we going to find out, y'all. All right, it got a list of all the items that come with it, man. You get the instruction manual, the control knob, well, basically your um, base control knob. We got the um, remote control cable. Basically, it's the base um, cable. We got a high signal cable that's going to be this little thing here. For people who don't know, that's your high signal cable. Um, I'll get into that a little later if you want to know how to use one of them. Very simple, very easy. Kills the um, reason for having RCA. So if you ever have a car that don't have RCAs, this is basically what you want to use. Um, we got cell tapping screws. Um, well, it's actually two sets of cell tapping screws. And then we have some machine, um, with, with some regular threaded screws. So them screws are basically just used for mounting purposes. I mean, this is crazy, man. Right here is going to be all of the features of it, the diagrams and everything. Like I say, um, I'm finna go get into the high level input. When I was Jeff was saying that if you ever don't have a base, like just don't have RCAs ran through your car, like just let's say you use them like a, you just got your hiding ground wire ran, and you don't have no RCAs whatsoever. So what you'll do is you'll take. The high level input, which is this little plug here, and you'll run it to the hot and ground wise, well, the positive and negative wise from your speaker wise in the front of the, behind the radio. And that'll send a signal to this thing here or to anything that you use to actually play music. So it'll defeat the purpose of having RCAs. RCA wires are kind of sort of the same, but it just got a plug. So it's really not too much of a difference. Um,. Let me see here. I mean, this thing is pretty nice, man. It got a little fuse to go to it. Fuse is already in. Right over here, we got a little 20 out fuse. Um, I mean, it's actually pretty neat. Then they showing you, make sure you use a fuse between the battery and the um, hot wire just in case, you know. Bat feed or anything like that, grounding issues, something like that. How do I get grounded? You know, too much current draw, it'll pop that fuse. That way, you won't tap your amp and your speaker and all the rest of the stuff. So, make sure y'all will use them. 
Oh, then they show you how to hook up the base knob and everything. Now, they say that this thing is supposed to be 400 watts. All right, 400 watts. I know to a lot of people, like, 400 watts ain't nothing. Yeah, that's a lie. That's a lie. It depends. 400 watts to one sub is a lot. Because just uh, let, let's say, let, let, let get in the math here. All right. If your sub were for 500 watts, RMS, that means 500 watts, pretty much where that sub need to be at. You know, it'd be like 500 watt RMS, 1,000 watt max. Meaning, yeah, it can take up to 1,000 watts. But you can't, you know, continuously play it at 1,000 watts, you know. It will continue to play at 500 with no problem. But once you get to that 1,000 range, you maxing that speaker out. Right? It's like it's it's like borderline. You have some brands that say 500 watt RMS and 1,000 watt max. Like this one here say 100 watt RMS. So this thing here, it may, it may do, like I say, it may do 400. I don't know. I don't have a... Um, no way the dyno would actually figure out the actual wattage of it. I'm working on that. But, you know, it's all in the range of bought rise, well, impedient rise and everything else. So if you got a, if you got four solar woofers and you got a 2,000 watt amp on it, all right, 2,000 watt amp. Your sub woofers are a thousand watts of P, and you got a 2,000 watt amp or something like that. Them subs only get 500 watts to them. Well, that's before box ride, well, impedient rise, that before impedient rise. And so 500 times four would be 2,000. Cool. All right. Now, after impedient rise, you could probably, it probably do 2,000 at one on. Impedient rise is basically the rise of the voice cord, the speaker excursion, yada, 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 whatnot. And basically what's going on. All right. You that 2,000 watt amp. It do 2,000 watts at one ohm. It rising up to like three ohms. So you got to be mindful of looking at the the ride. Well, basically the ohms or what that amp will do at 2,000, like one ohm. It do 2,000. Two ohm, it probably do like 1,200. So that two, that 500 watts that you had going to each speaker just dropped. So you probably getting probably about 150 to 200 watts per speaker out the ride. So... It's, it's, it's a lot of stuff to go into. We'll go into that another day. But like I say, this brand is from Hayaka, and it is nice. Let's get it out the plastic here. Okay, this is nice here. I mean, very, very nice. And this is the SDM08 Mini. We're going to be testing this. I want to try to test this in something. Look at the little speaker in there, man. That's nice. It is nice. Oh, man, this is nice. Very nice, clean, man, from Hayaka, man. This thing is actually under 100 bucks, man, like 80 bucks. It's like 80-something bucks, man. I'm going to drop the link in. This thing is actually amazing to be what it is, man. I mean, the hands down, man. I mean, uh, it's just for, like, people who want a little bass. So what we're going to try to do, I normally will put this in the car, but we have a side by side that we be working on. Me and my brother, man. This is my brother from another mother, man. I promise you, man. That that goddamn man, my biggest fan, my biggest motivator, man. He always motivate me, man. Been tight ever since I met this guy, man. I can't lie. So we're gonna be trying this on his side by side, which he has transformed tremendously, man. The guy come up with some crazy ass idea. I'm gonna get a couple of videos of that as well, and we're gonna try this out on there. And I can't lie, man. I think it's going to be pretty good right down his alley. He's been begging for uh, a small woofer to go on his side by side that's not going to take up a, a lot of space or nothing. Now, he do not take it through mud and all this and this. Because this thing, I don't think this thing is completely waterproof. So, we're going to actually shield this thing completely off from getting any water to it. And we're going to give this thing a try on there and see what it sounds like with his mid-range. So, y'all stay tuned for that, man. I got to get some wiring order. And we're going to see exactly how they high Hayaka Slim Mini 8 SDM 08 Mini. We're going to see just how the thing sound on something, man. So, hey, don't forget, we here, man. All right, guys, so there you have it. The new thing for Hayaka, man. This thing is nice. Can't lie. All in one, already done. All you need is hot and ground wire, and you're ready to go. 
Like I say, stay tuned. Gonna be trying down my buddy side by side and actually see exactly what it sounds like. I would try it in my car, but I cannot try it in my car because I already have a set up in there. So let's try it on the side by side, man. It's not gonna hurt nothing, man. I mean, hey, let's see what it actually would sound like, you know, outside of a car space. Cause we know we're not gonna make the trunk rattle or nothing, but we're gonna look, we're looking for a nice clean base. That's what we're looking for here. So, like I say, man, appreciate all the support. Y'all don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to drop the link down to Hayaka brand products, man. Y'all ease on over there and check them out, man. Like I say, cheap, reliable. I run them. I can't lie. I like them. I've been running the door speakers forever. I've been running the woofers forever. And it's the best thing on the market right now as a budget brand that is cheap and reliable. So, I'm being 100 with you. Cheap and reliable, you can't beat it. The high aqua brand is it's reliable. I'd have had mine for a minute now and still getting down. So like I say, y'all stay tuned, man. More on the way. Talk, I'd rather hit a million dollar lick. Ayy, I'm trying to get it for my kids. Told her, pop that pussy for the money, not the clout. Ayy, I'm trying to see what you about. She's a very freaky girl, she know how to work the boat. Ayy, make them throw a large amount. We'll drop me.